Hello everyone, today um, I'm going to show you how to play um, NTFS uh, uh, flash drives on your PS2. And uh, this is a tutorial to play your games, basically, on NTFS flash drives. Um, here I have two NTFS flash drives, they're both on NTFS, and this one right here is on FAT32. But we're gonna remove this one. We don't need it. Um, I made a, a, a research to find a OPL version that supports NTFS flash drives, and surprisingly, I found uh, I found one version that supports them. So, um, um, simply you you need to simply enough uh, download. Um, ISOs, I mean games which are over 4 gigs, and simply paste them on your flash drive. But if you're using FAT32, the uh, limit for transferring files is 4 gigs, which means that you cannot play uh, games which are over 4 gigs. So, this video will uh, I will show you how to play games which are over 4 gigs. Um, before starting the video, I want to say that not all the games which are over 4 gigs will work. For example, Gran Turismo 4. I do have Gran Turismo 4 uh, PAL European version right here, but it doesn't want to boot because it needs to be um, split it to 1 gig, but it needs to be first on FAT32, so it will work. So, um, first I'm going to show you the OPL version. Now, um, this is basically the version that uh, supports NTFS flash drives. Here it is. It says OPN PS2 LD version 1.2.0 beta 2009 BD.elf. So, um, I think this is the only version that supports NTFS flash drives. But we'll find out. Basically, I'm going to show you uh, how they work. How all the games, actually, not all of them, but at least one of them works. So, let's get started. Now, since I um, uh, connected, actually I plugged in my uh, NTFS flash drive to my PS2. You can see the list of the games that I have. Also, you can see the GT4 right there. I do have uh, another versions of GT4. I mean, I have demo and prototype versions of GT4, as you can see. So, um... First, I'm gonna select a game here. So yeah, all right. Uh, actually, I, I do have uh, three or four games that are over four gigs, such as GT4, um, FIFA 14, Yakuza, and Tekken 5. Oh well, let's play. Uh, let's try FIFA. All right. One of the things I noticed when I used FAT32 flash drive, I tried to transfer this game to it. But the game crashes on the main menu. It doesn't even load the main menu. It just stays on the pictures. I mean, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you this later on. So you can see the game is loading up. All right. You can see the language selection screen. Oh, let me just turn down the volume. And let's get to it. Now it's gonna check the memory card. It's gonna take a little bit longer. There we go. Alright, loading data. By the way, the OPL version will be in the link in the description. Um, if I find, if I, uh, if I get, if I will get it, um, I have to check my phone. By the way, if I still have this build, and I'm gonna upload it so you can see the and test it on your PS2 also. So there we go. EA Sports. It's in the game. Yeah. Alright, so the game is starting up, and 
and I'm gonna mute it since there is music and I, and I have to turn it off. If I'm using FAT32, um, it crashes on this screen because it's not the complete game. I mean, it's not the full game. It doesn't say press any button right here. And that's a sign. Now the game is working. And you can see on NTFS uh, flash drive, the game goes to the main menu, but on the FAT32, it, does, it doesn't. So you can see I'm on the main menu. I'm going to start a match for test. There you go. As you can see, it's loading up. And yeah. If you're using it for only for games, you if you don't want to use it for any pro program, uh, programs like um, another Opio version or emulators, this is fine. This is fine. And you can see playing a game right here. You can see I'm moving right here. You can see I'm moving up with my controller. And yeah, so that's it. Um, uh, as always, uh, this was Cage Gaming YT here. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and also I hope you liked the video. And uh, goodbye and peace out.